right, well, back here again. We're going to see if we can make some more predictions come true because each time I come down here, young Will tells me what he's going to go and do, and it goes on, does it? Uh, we'll call it uh, Mr. Lee Hogan's <laughs> prophecies for well, the future. A year ago, just over a year ago, you told me that you were going into the league championships. Bearing in mind, this is the first year as a senior, and you said, I've got to go and win them. Not that you've got to win them, you said you had to win them. You did win them, and then you told me that you want to get on the GB squad and become number one. Well, you're number two. <laughs> All this place a year. On paper. Just, yeah, and you've just come back from the European Championship. Under 22, Under 22 European Championship. With a nice little bronze, bronze medal. Bronze medal in the first major tournament. So it um, wasn't too bad. Third tournament for GV. Mm -hmm. So it's just about getting about now, getting around. Um, beat a lot of good kids already now. And the actual European champion, yep. Open European champion, won it in the Under 22s. Because that's the next competition you're looking to that's uh, win. European Championship is the next one I'm hoping to go. Mm -hmm. So it will be out, it'll be out with me and Mohamed Ali. Um, He's another Northern kid because he's from Keeley, isn't he? Yeah. No, he's from, from Berry, Boxer yeah. Berry, doesn't he? Boxer so, Berry, yeah, he's from Keeley, so, isn't he? Well, it's about the club he's at. So, mm -hmm. Greater Manchester has number one and number two, two at 52 kilos, which is a massive achievement for North West region. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's been recognised by anyone yet, but uh, it is, you know. We've no, got, of course it is. Got Mick, team, Mick, yeah. A good friend of mine, Mick Jolly, trains uh, Mo, and, uh, you know, a selfie. Yeah. Healthy competition in the northwest region. Mm -hmm. And I mean, how long have you and Will been together, Eric? I mean, I remember four years ago video with him, so no, you been told me you've had him since a little kid, haven't you? Yeah, I still don't know what age. Eight years. Eight years, nine years, something like that. He came through the gym, a little, uh, a little rotund, round little boy on the bags, punching the bags. Um, but you know. well, you've always spoken about highly of him, you've always said that potentially this kid could be yeah. special. And yeah. It looks like you're proving that, mate. But from 2013 14, um, started realising himself, you know, his potential, uh, started applying himself, mm -hmm. I started listening to uh, what we had to say and some of the instructions, and you know, the rest is kind of history, what he's achieved, do you know what I mean? It hasn't been, a, I know, we'll see, it hasn't been a, a, a linear sort of pathway, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's been, you know, I'm sure, you know, in, in this world of boxing. Um, He's got past the hard part though. The hard part is <laughs> being 16 to 18. I think that's a really hard to keep yourself focused. And, you know, you had a little way in the path here and there, but you managed to do what you did. And like you said, a year ago, you told me what you were going to do. You said you were going to win the Elite Championship, which is a bold statement to make because you'd never fought um, as an elite fighter Senior. before. Not only that, you'd actually moved up from 49 kilos to 52 kilos. And um, you know, you, you you just seem to be you know steadily improving. Mm -hmm. Christian, um, went in the elites one and comfortably, then got on GB not long after, and then my first tournament was the Felix Stamp tournament, which was a hard tournament, mm -hmm. and that that proved there's a there's a big big difference between the ABAs and international boxing. Complete completely different. You switch off for two seconds, two minutes. You'll get you'll get hit with that many shots, clean shots. You throw you throw a slow shot, you're getting hit with three shots back. Sometimes I could have went, I could box on a club show, I could go in there and cruise it. In a national, it's a different story. You've got to keep switched on constantly. But you feel you adapted really well to this, though. Adapted very well, yeah. Adapted and very you're enjoying well. the, the competition now. Because yeah. you're being pushed with every tournament you go into. There's never an easy fight now, is it? No, the, every every fight's going to be a hard fight. Um, out in Romania, the European Championships there, we're just boxing. I draw on Russia straight away. First, first fight, Russia. Beat him unanimously, 5 0. Then I got another good Irish boy from um, Jordan Moore, I think he's called. Beat him 5 0, give him um, a 10 7 round, a 10 6 round as well, <laughs> um, things like that. So. Like you say, like you say the, margins, the, the margins for winning and, re winning and losing at international level are so small. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And fights, they, 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 there's not going to be walkovers, really. There ain't going to be many walkovers, but obviously there was a couple there. A couple of you got to buy. Um, when I say walkovers, I mean as in no one's going to really dominate someone because uh -huh. each athlete are so evenly matched. Um, and the, and the you know, difference between winning and losing is minute. 
and sometimes it's in the interpretation of the judges. But it's um, draining you because the one or two who we talk about, Muhammad Ali and yourself, your styles are so far apart different. from one another. I mean, Muhammad Ali is a, a much more tough, come forward, straight fighter, and you, uh, you just, I don't know what you're doing there, you seem to dance. You know, but it's, uh, it's, it's a joy to watch, mate. You know, you, uh, but as I was saying to Eddie before, you, you must be everyone's nightmare because when you can't hit someone, it's very frustrating and you are very elusive. It's just, I think that's the best way to be. There's too many people going up and getting hit too much and getting, getting put in bad ways and things like that. It's just, it's a sport at the end of the day. But, uh, it's boxing is the art of hitting and not being hit. And I think you, you, know, you personify that, don't you? It's, uh, you attempt to. You know, <laughs> um, you know, through the gym, it's a whole kind of uh, philosophy of the gym. Call it what you want. Is kind of uh, all our lads are renowned for having good kind of uh, mm. good footwork, good movement, good timing, good balance, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we work in the gym towards that. And we'll always do that because, like you said, it's it's a sport. Do you know what I mean? And you yeah. know. As you've made all these predictions before, we touched on earlier on, what are the new goals for you? What are your new ambitions that you want to achieve in the next 12 months? The new one will be go to these European Championships in June. Hopefully get another medal, which I think I'm good enough to get another medal. Qualify myself for the World Championships in August. And then Commonwealth Games is next, which I know I can win the Commonwealth Games myself. But I don't see anyone that can beat me out there when I'm at the top of my game. So that's my prediction for the next 12 months. So it's uh, nearly a year, is it? Eight, I think it's in February 2018, I think, the, uh, the Commonwealth, Commonwealth Games in, uh, in the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. We've got some good friends out there already. Will Sam them. Goodman be down there? Yeah, know? hopefully we'll meet up with Sam. He'll, mm -hmm. he'll, he'll qualify for Australia. I think Sam's he'll way above him, though. Yes, yeah, yeah, Sam's, Sam's 56. Um, like you say, we, you know, we filmed them, didn't you? Came yeah, down and yeah, filmed yeah. them, didn't you? So we've got some good connections to Australia, so hopefully that's the, the ultimate the game. Is this, you, you, I mean, you still, you're still growing into this weight though, aren't you? I mean, you're not, you know, it's not something that you really have to kill yourself to make. No. So, I mean, hopefully that, that shows a good sign really, because yeah. it means you yeah. can stay at this weight and hopefully dominate for a while. Yeah, it's amazing that we looked at the, uh, if you go and look at the videos of the, um, the, some of the bouts in the Europeans, mm -hmm. The guys just looked it was like man v boy in, t in two of the fights at least with the Russian and with the uh, the Spanish guy. Mm. They just looked physically well, physically developed. Has size on you at present, doesn't he? You know, because he's been 52 for a while, he's a lot, hasn't he? He's a lot taller. He's just, he's a lot. He's a big 52. Mm -hmm. well, he's, 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 to be honest, he's a big 60 kilo. He's, yeah, a, yeah, he's, yeah, a, he's, a, he's a very very big, but he is effective for what he does. Very effective. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad to have him at my weight. Yeah, because it will push me, and then I want to start pushing him and things like that. So it's good. It's good to have competition. Okay, like that. Let's not forget that Muhammad Ali is medalled at the uh, every major, that, 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 every major, yeah. the Youth Olympics silver. Youth, youth he got beat by is it Shaka Stevenson? Shaka Stevenson, another Shaka, world class person. He's a kid who's just turned over now. Yeah, Shaka yeah. Stevenson from uh, you know, from the states. He was like the standout prospect. That's another thing as well. He was over in the states, wasn't he? Uh, yeah. Early on this year. GB um, sent us off to Colorado Springs for two and a half weeks, I think it was, and it was unbelievable training. Yeah. And, but again, I overthought it and thought these USA boys are going to be this and they're going to be that. Thinking about Roy Jones Jr. and things like that, I think this is what they're going to be like for Spar. Dominated it. Dominated it. Kid was on the, on the floor, missing, missing by miles, things like that. Dominated out there. All the GB team did. The only, the only real, real good fighter out there was Shakur Stevenson, and he was weighing like 64 kilos and sparring from 60, 64, 69. He was even going to spar 75, uh -huh. and his actual weight's 56 kilos. So <laughs> if you can do that, then you can do a lot of things. Well, the good thing is with your side, though, I mean, the size doesn't really matter because you hit them and they don't hit you. So realistically, <laughs> it, 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 it's a big advantage that. You, you, Got to, take, got, got to take the best things what they do away from them. Mm -hmm. So if you move and you're slippery and you're this and that, it's, it's hard isn't it? to be a, If you're a puncher, then I'm your most nightmare, aren't I? So <laughs> it's just one of them. Well, good luck for European Championships. Uh, when are they later on this year? June, I think they are. Uh, June.
and that's because this was the, the only 22 that you've just been in. So this is the seniors. This um, is the open also. Are, are you different pick for that or? It's it's not a definite pick. Um, no. It's down to the GB team, so. But with winning that bronze at the under 22, I've made a good performance. You. I've done myself a good performance. Does, um, does that qualify you for some? Does that qualify you for the worlds winning now or anything? No. No, no. Um, no. The, on the the championships I've actually been to, just the the gold medalist was um, Daniel Asanov. He was actually the last year's Open European champion. Right. And the Italian, he, he boxed an Italian out there, and I, Who you beat? I beat the Italian very, very comfortably. And a lot of people thought the Italian should yeah. have been. A lot of people thought the Italian beat him, but... I mean, that fight, I mean, going back to the judging, I mean, that it was even more, kind of, uh, more of a, I don't know, uh, contentious decision that Zara against the uh, Bulgarian. I looked at watch the fight and just can't see how the way that Bulgarian got it, but... So I, I was watching on the TV in the change rooms, I was warming up because I was on the next, next bout. And I said to the coach, I said, this Italian has just won that. And unanimous decision got announced, I thought he's won that quite, quite comfortably. Well, I mean, I, I follow you on Facebook and I, I must admit, you're quite an honest fighter. You yeah. know, if you feel like you've lost, you will say that. I've said I've lost. And, like, uh, you know, but I mean, at the highest level, sometimes it is very hard to split two yeah, good fighters. So it's very subjective and I mean I'll do that myself. I, I watch a fight me and quite kind of um, I don't know pessimistic mm -hmm. with, with regards to my boxer. I'll always kind of look at him with you know I'll, I'll see I'll, I'll see them getting punched but not them hitting basically. Sometimes by trying to be unbiased, you can actually be biased to your own fighter by you know trying to be unbiased. Yeah, so I'll, I'll never I'll never I watch a fight once with emotions and it's different, totally different. You used to watch it again and mm -hmm. then again and again to, again to get, you know, a honest, objective view. And uh, no, I think he won it. He won the fight, do you know what I mean? Well, uh, well you're back off down to the GP squad, are you? Back down tomorrow? tomorrow. Tomorrow, I had a few days off now, so back on it again now. And um, what do you do down there? Do you spend, what, four or five days down there yeah. and you come back weekends? Or? Four days. Usually I'm down Monday to Thursday, but because mm. I've only got back on Wednesday, I'm down Tuesday to Friday now. So get down there, I'll do S and C spa in the morning run. Uh, S and C spa again. It's hard, hard work. And what do you do? Do you put you up in a hotel down there or something? Yeah, uh, we have our own houses and flats. Oh, yeah. So just like being, just like being at home in it. But and who do you uh, share with? I uh, share a house with Fraser Clark, uh, Galawi F5. Fraser Clark heavyweight. Super heavy, yeah. yeah. Super heavy. Just won there out in that WSB again. Mm -hmm. Still undefeated in the WSB, and he's so he's doing very well for himself. And this is another thing that you're hoping to get onto at some point. WSB, yeah, hopefully I should be getting a fight in that soon, so that's going to suit me to a team that's five, three rounds. Um, I think I can start out with a lot more people in that than three threes, because my three threes, the second and third round, I'm always the best. Mm -hmm. It's always my most comfortable rounds, um, so five threes I can settle, sink a few good body shots in, because I like I'm a good body puncher and that, so. Be much right. better for me. Well, good luck for the next 12 months and hopefully I'll be chatting to you. Hopefully. Maybe as a possible European champion and maybe even a, yeah. a Commonwealth gold medalist. Hopefully, hopefully uh, Mystic Lee's kind of, uh, <laughs> comes true. projections come true. Do you know what I mean? All right, lads. Listen, it's been a pleasure. I'll Thank catch you. up with you soon. See Thank you, you Bye. Cheers. Thank you.